heard about the robo games, where robots of various kinds compete to smash each other, grind each other up, flip each other, just push each other around the ring. Well, let's take a look at how some of these machines are made. This is UC San Diego's competitor in the robo games. It's a 120 pound chunk of steel and motors called the Kraken. And uh, its distinguishing feature is this plate of abrasion resistant steel here. It's so hard they had to cut it with a plasma torch. Uh, we're competing in the middleweight class, so 120 pounds. Uh, there's also the heavyweight, which is 220, and the super heavyweight, which is 340. So inside we have four scooter motors. We have a four wheel drive. The chains are hidden inside these. Uh, and then we have the linear actuator, which basically extends in and out, which will, when it pulls back, it will pivot the shield upwards more, so it will lift the shield. And the batteries for these would go in the back right here. What's your robot called? It's called Bad Dog. Bad dog. Bad dog, yeah, okay. because it tears things up. We get this uh, aluminum disc with a titanium blade spinning at about 3,500 RPM. Okay. Very scary. Uh-huh. Uh, but whatever it hits, it uh, tears into. We wanted an active weapon because active weapons are so much more fun to watch fighting, yeah. than things like a wedge. So rather than defense, we went with a uh, weapon. And the wedge is the only design that really is effective against a spinner robot because the wedge, will, it'll just start skipping across it, then the wedge can underneath it, bring it over to the wall, the spinner will hit the wall and break itself. Those big spinner robots, there are still a few around, but not very many anymore because the wedges are so effective. So Marco, you're from Brazil, right? Yes. From Rio? Rio de Janeiro. Okay, That's a, you've come a really long way to the Robo Games. Yeah, we started competing in 2006 here at Robo Games, and it's really worth it. This is Toro Lights. Toro means blue in Portuguese, and it's a lightweight. Yeah. And uh, it spins this run at about uh, 6,000 RPM. Uh, and what happens is that when an opponent gets close to it, it's thrown up in the air. So you have to make your robot robust enough to take big hits, fly through the air six, seven feet, land on the ground and still drive. That's number one. And then come up with a weapon that you can try to fight everybody else. And that's the hard part.